Music Access. When foreign singers visit Korea for concerts, they are surprised by Korean singing along. However, these days, this singing along culture goes beyond the concert halls. Many people are now singing along at cinemas and musical halls as well. Audiences watching the movie Bohemian Rhapsody, the story of the band Queen, sang the songs together, and some musical as some musicals have added a singing along part for the audience. When you sing along, it feels like you're one with the people, and I think the power of music is quite amazing indeed. I'm DJ Benji. Are you with me? Pura. The first song you heard today, Wednesday, December fifth, two thousand eighteen, was "No One Else Like You" by Adam Levine. What's up, guys? It's your boy, music actress DJ Benji in the house. So in our opening, we're talking about how people are singing along. I did actually go to watch Bohemian Rhapsody in the theater, hoping that people would sing along. No one sang along. In fact, I tried singing along, and no one sang along with me. But then in the uh, the opening, how do I phrase it? In like the first part of like when the movie came out, when it was still fresh on the movie charts, I guess. Apparently, people were singing the songs together. And then, you know, based on the influx of um, films that have a lot of music revolving around them, you know, I feel like that might be something we see coming up, you know, with uh, The Amazing Showman or The Incredible Showman, uh, the one with Adam Levine, Begin I think that is what it's called, uh, A Star is Born, you know, you have this movie. So I think maybe we can look forward to more musical movies coming in the future. But until then, let's just kick it here, you and some fun stuff on Music Access. All right, talking about our show for today. For the first hour, we'll listen to famous pop songs from 1991 to 2010 on Monday to Friday on MA Chart Flashback. And we also have MA Fun Fun Quiz and Message Time in store for you as well, so make sure to stay tuned for those. And meanwhile, for the second hour today, we'll choose one among two different yet concerning situations on Wednesday's Corner, your choice, A or B. We'll give you two situations or options, and you, my lovely MA fam, will vote on it. We'll reveal the results to you as well, so stay tuned for that for our second hour. Now, for listening to our program, you can listen through Arirang Cheju FM, but this is only available for our listeners living on Jeju-do Island. The frequencies are 88.7 for Jeju City, 88.1 for Seogipo City, and 101.9 for the Taejong area. You can also listen to us through a smartphone app and DMB, Ustream, TuneIn, etc. All you have to do is download Adidang Radio, the app, and you can use our services there. Letting y'all know the spelling of Adirang, it is A-R-I-R-A-N-G. Once again, A-R-I-R-A-N-G. And you can also listen to us to, or through, rather, a satellite radio station, Sirius XM, channel 144 in the U.S. And for our listeners, where our current time may not be the most comfortable time to listen in, we do have a rerun once again in the early morning. The rerun is from 5 a.m. to 7 a.m. Korean time. So if you're unable to listen to Music Access due to the time difference, try and check us out then. We're going to check out a song before we come on to MH Heart Flashback, and we're going to listen to Baby It's Cold Outside by Willie Nelson featuring Nora Jones. That was today's song for MH Heart Flashback, Hanging by a Moment by Lifehouse. So I don't actually know the band Lifehouse that well. They are an alternative band uh, coming from L.A., Los Angeles, there are, let's see how many members, I think it's three members, Jason Wade for vocals, Rick Wurstenholm Jr. for drums, and Bryce Soderberg for bass and other vocals. But this track, Hanging by a Moment, uh, brought them to mainstream fame. This is from their debut studio album called No Name Face. So this track, Hanging by a Moment, uh, let's see, peaked at number two on the Billboard Hot 100. It's the most successful single to date. Despite not peaking at number one, it was the number one single of 2001. And it followed Breathe from the previous year in completing this feat. Lots of good uh, reviews. The official music video of the song premiered on VH1. Wow, I've not read VH1 in any way or form for a long, long time. 
Uh, other things that were around this time. So uh, it was kept out of the number one spot, inst- actually, funnily, by Lady Marmalade. So I think that's the song. I think we played it yesterday. The itchy, itchy, yeah, yeah, yeah. That one. And then You Remind Me by Usher. Also another, another amazing track. And that's about it. I mean, uh, if we go for the lyrics of the track, hanging by a moment, lyrics. Despite desperate for changing, starving for truth. I'm closer to where I started. I'm chasing after you. I'm falling more, even more in love with you, letting go of all I've held on to. I'm standing here until you make me move. I'm hanging by a moment here with you. So I think it's kind of talking about even though, even through all these, you know, struggles and even though all of the things that I've sacrificed to be with you, um, I'm just hanging by this one moment, this moment that I'm having with you is how I am assuming the uh, tale for this track goes. If I'm wrong, someone let me know on our message board. I'm going through messages while these songs go out. But anyway, for this band Lifehouse, um... Yeah, they've released albums pretty consistently. They sold over 15 million records worldwide. Interesting. So, guys, if you want to check out more music by the band Lifehouse, make sure to check them out. The track for today was hanging by a moment from their debut studio album, No Name Face. Now, before we jump into Roll Call, we're going to check out a quick track, take a quick song break. We're going to listen to the song that Darcy of the USA requested, The House That Built Me by Miranda Lambert. We just heard The House That Built Me by Miranda Lambert. It's time for our roll call for today. MA fam, stand at attention. We got Samantha of Australia, Darcy Ann of the USA, Crimson Rez of the USA, Yoko of Japan, Anya of the Czech Republic, Sazzy, Sacy of the USA, Oksama of Japan, Kimi of the USA, Chungte of Korea, Makoto of Japan, Yunita of Indonesia, Jenny of the USA, Florence of France, and Chrislene of Japan. Welcome one and all my lovely, lovely MA fam. Welcome to the program for those of you all who are new. And let's get into some messages. We got Yoko of Japan saying, hi Benji, how are you? Is Korea cold? Japan has been the hot summer since yesterday. What? Many people spent the day in short sleeves. When is it going to snow? It's also really hot today. Is it really December? Ha ha ha. Thank you. What? You're wearing a, a short sleeve shirt? A short sleeve shirt? In December, that's so weird. That was the name of my uh, next song, sh- uh, T-shirts in December. But uh, yo, it's cold now. So I stepped out for a second in just this like padded jacket or in padded jacket. What am I talking about? Like a black hoodie. And then it's so cold. Like I-, I was out there for like 30 seconds. Like, oh my gosh, it's so cold. So is Korea cold? You would be wrong if you said it was hot here. In fact, you would you would be very there would be something very seriously wrong with you and we would probably want to get you checked out. But yes, it is super it's not super cold cuz it does get even colder later, but it is it getting colder. I will put it that way. It's not the kind of weather where you want to be outside for very long. It's the kind of weather where you wish you had a car instead of having to, you know, walk around places. But then at the same time, you realize walking around kind of helps you enjoy winter a little bit more and just get the outside fresh air so yes that is that you need to of indonesia saying hi banji happy hump day whoop i just want to say good luck for tomorrow's performance with the other big members and of course have fun that's right me and big we have an event tomorrow that we're gonna be at it's gonna be super super dope and it's gonna be awesome since we perform together as a group so we'll have a lot of fun with that yes 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 all right, so we'll continue on to our MA Fun Fun quiz after checking out the track Sweet Sensation by Flowrider. <laughs> Solving, answering, and enjoying questions with Benji on MA Fun Fun Quiz. At MA Fun Fun Quiz, we have a quiz. It could be about K-pop and Korean tradition as well as trendy culture. MA Fun Fun Quiz is not difficult or complicated and there's always three hints for the answer. The first hint will be a little hard, the second hint will be a little easier, and the third hint will be a music hint. 
So let's get started today's MA Fun Fun Quiz. 6 p.m. Korean time today. Shinies, this member will release his first solo album. Who is he? Our first tint, number one, Minho. Number two, Ki. Number three, Onyu. Second hint, he is Shiny's leader. He sang a duet song, Pamgwa Pyore Nore, Starry Night with Ichina. Unfortunately, this member who will release his first solo album after debut will start his military service on December 10th. What? Really? Okay. Anyway, if you know today's answer, go ahead and write answer on your title and send us a message with the correct answer. Now before we get to our music game, one more track, Some You'll Be Mine by Nature. All right, we just heard Some You'll Be Mine by Nature, and it's time for our third MA Fun Fun Quiz music camp. Before I do that, here's the first two hints one more time. The first hint, 6 p.m. Korean time today, Shiny's member will release his first solo album. Who is he? Number one, Minho. Number two, Ki. Number three, Onyu. The second hint, he is Shiny's leader. He sang a duet song with Ijina called Pamgwa Pyore Nore, Starry Night. The third hint is a music impede name. Let's get it poppin'! <laughs> I don't actually know if that's the lyrics. It's one of the lyrics. I don't know. Konmin sang this somewhere. Oh, yo. Konmin sang this when we were in Japan. Yo, shout out to Konmin. Yo, what's up, Konmin? Alright, so if you know today's answer, go ahead and write today's answer on your message. And write your title as answer. We'll announce the answer at the last part of our second hour corner. Your choice, A or B. Now, before we move on, let's listen to some music. YG special. We're going to start with Anang Ne, fiance by Mino or Song Mino, followed with solo by Jenny. We just heard Anang Ne, fiance by Mino, followed with solo by Jenny. We just finished our YG special. Which didn't actually have a YG special. We just played two YG tracks in a row. And it's time for our message time. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. We got. Starting to saw Samantha of Australia saying good day, Benji. How are you? Hope you're well. It would be very cold there in Seoul now. Well, here in Australia, it's summer and the weather is nice and warm. For the next two days, we'll get up to 36 degrees. What? 36 degrees? Yo, 36 degrees is hot enough to fry an egg? Actually, is it hot enough to fry an egg? How, how hot... Does it have to be to fry an egg? How hot does it have to be to fry an egg? And the answer to that question is 133 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 55 uh, Celsius. So actually, it's not hot enough to fry an egg, but it's probably hot enough to dry the water on the lawn. So make sure to uh, sprinkle water on the cement. Anyways, I uh, stopped reading the message halfway through. That's a bit hot for me, but I think I can cope with it. LOL, on the weekend, I'll be making my chocolate chip shortbread for Christmas. My friends can't wait to get some for Christmas. Take care, send in love, hugs, and kisses. <gasps> Dude, I want some chocolate chip shortbread. You know what I really miss coming to Korea? There's not a lot of, like... Made cookie shops and a lot of the cookies that they do sell here aren't the chewy kind I do like a little bit of chew to my cookie uh, you know there's a lot of different factors for how to make a chewy cookie but in general most of the cookies in Korea are more on the crisp variety and more on the little bit they're more I would say rather than crunchy a little bit more brittle you know I personally like myself a nice chewy molasses cookie uh, I love the, uh, white bleached flour with M&Ms that they used to sell at this one cookie place near my house. And of course, who can forget snickerdoodles? Who doesn't like a snickerdoodle? Essentially, you're taking sugared cookie dough and putting more sugar on top. 
and then you can cover that in like peanut butter or like some chocolate dip it in oh my gosh but anyways i hope you uh your friends enjoy that uh shortbread and make sure to take care of your body because 36 degrees though not hot enough to fry a nug on the sidewalk is still very warm so make sure to drink lots of water makoto of japan saying D Benji Anyang, 오늘은 내가 좋아하는 수요일 MA 날. So this is my favorite day of MA, Wednesday. Benji는 12월에 하고 싶은 거 있어요? Is there anything you want to do in December? Uh, 2018년 마지막 달, the last month of 2018, 어떻게 지내요? What are you gonna do? 근데 한국은 너무 춥네요. Uh, it's so cold in Korea. 감기 조심해요, Benji. 오늘도 I love you. So apparently, so Makoto actually came to Korea recently, and so she's enjoying the cold weather. I know she's enjoying it, but she's feeling the cold weather. Uh, do anything planned for the month of December? That is an excellent question. I actually don't. I would really actually love to find a house and bake some cookies. So we'll see if I can find a friend who has an oven at their house, and we'll see if we can get some cookies going on. But otherwise, I don't think I have any actual plans for like a Christmas party or a Christmas gathering because I'm not good at planning that kind of stuff. And I just don't have the energy right now. Something about winter really drains the energy from my bones. So maybe I should be drinking a little bit more hot chocolate or something. We'll figure it out. But anyways, thank you for your message, Makoto. And enjoy Korea. Like I said, get that takalbi or get whatever is good in Korean food. There's a lot of good Korean food. We got Dicey and of the USA saying, Annyeong Benji, happy Wednesday. Work was very busy for me. I was glad when I was done. Marion and I went to get two fried chicken dinners before we get went home. Take care, Benji. Yo, fried chicken is dope. Yo, fried chicken, that's my jam. So when I'm at home and I got to eat something like delivery or pedal, you know, pizza's really good because like you eat it, then you can go do more work or whatever. And then, uh, you know, other stuff, you know, Korean food's good. But you end up with a lot of panchan or side dishes on the side, and to get rid of it, you have to like deal with a lot of you know umshimu city or like food waste, then check different stuff. So it's complicated. But pizza is just a box, but fried chicken, that's what's up. You just take the bone, throw it away, take throw it in the garbage. Yo, chicken, I, I fried chicken, that's one of my favorites. We're gonna go to our message board, see what's up. So we got Chrisline. Oh, actually, yeah, Chrisline from Japan saying hi, Benji. Happy Wednesday. How are you? I'll confess something. I'm studying Japan for a couple months, and more days are passing. It's hard for me to stay there. I miss my home and family and friends. At I try listening to you every time when I can. My days are better. It's my little escape. So thank you. Have a lovely day. I think I skipped a sentence, but because I try listening to you every time when I can, my days are better. That's what it's. I think I skipped that sentence for some reason. Thank you so much for that lovely comment. And, you know, studying abroad, being alone is, of course, very, very hard. One thing that I can say as a quick tip, if you have an opportunity to make friends, definitely go out there, you know? Being alone and finding time to yourself is good, but always being alone? Nah. Try to make some time for your friends, and if you don't have any friends, try to find some. Whether it's a hobby group, uh, a cooking class, I'm sure there are options. So good luck with that, Christine, and let me know how that goes. We're going to check out two more songs. Uh, Oksama of Japan wants to hear There's Nothing Holding Me Back by Shawn Mendes. And Jungta of Korea requested Palace by Sam Smith. We just heard There's Nothing Holding Me Back by Shawn Mendes, followed by Palace by Sam Smith. Let's do a quick update on the weather situation on Jeju-do Island. The current weather on Jeju-do Island is 9 degrees Celsius, not hot enough to fry an egg. Today, the fine dust warning is on the normal side, so I'd still say wear a mask, though, personally for me. Uh, in the afternoon, the wind and the breeze are becoming a little bit chillier, so be careful not to catch a cold, and of course, dress warmly. And of course, I have another lovely announcement on the 17th of December. It's Monday, so not this coming Monday, but the next Monday. So in about two weeks, Adirang Radio's open studio turn-up party Radio Gaga will be held at the second floor of Adirang Tower. Along with the wonderful K-pop singers' live performances and fun interesting talks, Turn Up Radio Radio Ga Turn Up Party Radio Gaga. Oh my gosh. Invites Yubin of Wonder Girls, Hotshot Dreamcatcher, and Into It. 
K pop ins DJ Isak and music actress DJ Benji woo, will host the show at 1 p.m. for four hours. Free tickets for Adidang Radio Open Studio Turn Up Party Radio Gaga are available on a first come, first served basis. And the studio doors will open from 12.30 p.m. Please look forward to our Arirang Radio Open Studio. And for more information, please make sure to visit our website, www.arirangradio.com. So, of course, we'll be back with Wednesday's Corner, Your Choice ARB. But first, I'm going to take a quick break. I'm going to let you hear the song Bad by Lennon Stella. And be right back. Earthquakes typically cause serious damages as they can occur anytime without any forewarning. To avoid confusion and prevent risky decision making, make sure to familiarize yourself with the following tips to be ready. If you are indoors, then find cover under a table to protect your body from any falling or flying objects. If there isn't a place to hide under, use a cushion to protect your head. Once the shaking stops, shut off all electricity and gas and open the door to secure an exit. To evacuate the building, use stairs instead of an elevator. But if you are already inside an elevator when an earthquake hits, then push all the elevator buttons and exit on the floor where the door opens. If you are in a theater or a stadium, stay seated while protecting your body with a bag or anything else that can provide a cover until the shaking stops. Then, evacuate according to the directions provided. If you are inside a subway train, then hold on to a strap or pole to prevent falling, and once the train stops, evacuate according to the instructions. If you are driving, turn on the emergency lights, park your car on the side, and exit with the key inside. Get to a large open area like a sports field or a park and cover your head with a bag or your hands. A tsunami may occur if an earthquake occurs close to shore, so move to higher ground away from the coastline. If you are in the mountains, evacuate to a safe location while avoiding landslides. To be better prepared for earthquakes, equip your home with emergency food, supplies, flashlights, and fire extinguishers. Do not forget to arrange with your family the meeting location and contact method in the event of an emergency. The time is 3 p.m. Music Access the second hour for Music Access has begun. In just a bit, we'll be back with Wednesday's Corner, your choice, A or B. Before that, here's how y'all can listen and participate. If you use a computer, just visit www.adidongradio.com and you can listen and watch the program that's on air live. All you need to do is click on the banner that says Music Access and that will take you to our homepage where you can leave your messages, song requests, and participate on our weekly corners via send message. Also, you can listen through Arirang Jeju FM, but this is only available for our listeners living on Jejudo Island. The frequencies are 88.7 for Jeju City, 88.1 for Seokguipo City, and 101.9 for the Tejung area. You can also check us out through a smartphone app and DMB, Ustream, TuneIn, etc. All you have to do is download the Adidang Radio app, and you can use our services there. And for our listeners in the U.S., you can also listen to us through a satellite radio station, Sirius XM Channel 144. We're going to listen to a song before we come back with Wednesday's Corner, Your Choice A or B. We're going to listen to Changnan Aninde, I'm Serious by Day 6.
Would it be better if I was born again as a woman or a man? Should I raise a dog or a cat? If I'm lost, should I go right or left? If you're in a situation to decide this or that, what would you choose? Your choice, A or B. Wednesday's Corner, your choice, A or B. We don't have a guest on Wednesday, so listeners and MA fam, y'all are my guests today. We actually have two guests in the studio. Hello, guests. All right, cool. So every Wednesday, I'll give you three different and concerning situations with two options. And of course, you, our listeners, will vote on it. Go ahead and let me know your preferences. Then I'll reveal the results. I'll tell you which one got the most votes. And it'll be interesting to know my taste preferences and comparisons to yours as well. Uh, For example, on a lazy day... Uh, you don't want to go out, but your friend wants to meet you suddenly. Do you A, go out, or B, make an excuse and not go out? Or, for example, your mom comes home and she's cooked you a lovely dinner of broccoli. Do you A, eat the broccoli, or B, throw a tantrum and then go and eat fried chicken? That was a very fictional situation. If your mom cooks you broccoli, just eat it like a good child. Anyways, of course, we're going to give you two options, so choose between this or that. And for our MA fam out there who does keep up with our messages, in the studio, we do have Makoto of Japan. And she also came with a friend, so she's here in the studio. Let's give him a warm welcome. Yay! Konnichiwa. Aite ureshi desu. Alright, so let's get it on. Your choice A or B. This is today's first choice. So, bungee jumping is on some people's bucket list because, in fact, it is a leisure sport that requires tremendous courage and challenge. So the question is, which celebrity do you want to try bungee jumping with? A. Kim Jinu of Winner, who seems to be very calm without being afraid of being in a high place. Or B. J of Day 6, who seems to yell his head off whatever he does. Like a chicken, get it? Because he's yelling his head off. All right, so again, that is which celebrity do you want to try bungee jumping with? A, Kim Jinu of Winner, who seems to be very calm without being afraid of being in a high place. Or B, J of Day 6, who seems to yell his head off. And he's always like that. So select one of these two and let us know the reason on our MA send message or via the comment function on your Adirang Radio app. Personally, I've done bungee jumping. Um, it was super, super fun. I did it actually for an Adinang program called Tour vs. Tour, where we got to travel around, and one of the things that we did was go bungee jumping. Uh, my experience, what can I tell you? So, uh, under it, so we had uh, an area of water under it, I think just in case the rope snaps, maybe. It's a precaution. And so you go up on this long lift, it goes and then you get off and you walk around a couple times and then you get on the ledge and you have all the you know safety materials in you know they weigh you they make sure everything's all you know perfect and then uh, the crazy thing is when you go on the ledge so I jumped straight off instead of having someone you know push me or anything the first thought that went into my head when I jumped off was yo if I didn't have a bungee cord right now I'd be dead like it's weird how that was the first thought that went through my head but after living such a very safe life in general, going through that one moment where you just put everything on the line and this one chord is the only thing that keeps you from, you know, being dead, it's really weird. And then you get the whole G-force, you know, your guts start coming up to like the back of your throat or whatever. I would say I want to do it again. In fact, I want to try skydiving, but bungee jumping is something that personally... Um, if you're gonna go with someone, I would say go do it. It's definitely an experience worth doing. It's not cheap, but it's very worth doing. Something on my bucket list. What is something that could be on your bucket list? You know, for some people it might be bungee jumping or skydiving. Maybe it's uh, going on a race car. Maybe it's, you know, diving into the coral reefs or, you know, something like that. For me, I would say something on my bucket list. I would like, um, let's see, something that I would like to do on my bucket list. I want to try backpacking, or I want to try taking a cruise ship. These do not sound like very, um, bucket listy options. Bucket list, bucket list, bucket list. 
I want to get. I I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Maybe like a, like a something materialistic. But something materialistic is such a like a materialistic goal. I want to get. Nah, that's stupid. I don't know. I'll figure it out. We'll come back after a quick song break. I'll tell you about my bucket list. But uh, remember, guys, while we're listening to the song, pick who you want to go bungee jumping with. Kim Jinu of Winner, who is calm and collected, or J of Day Six, who's like a chicken little. We're going to listen to the track Because of You by 98 Degrees and be right back. We just heard Because of You by 98 Degrees, a little flashback in our little segment. All right, let's get into it. So, you are here with Wednesday's Corner, your choice, A or B. This was today's first choice. I'll let you guys know again, which celebrity do you want to go bungee jumping with? Common Collected Kim Chinu of Winner, or J of Day 6, who's kind of a chicken head. So, I gotta tell you which one received the verse most vo- votes on the first choice. Wow, that was hard to get out. Pete Neem, drum roll, please! Which celebrity do you want to try bungee jumping with? Today, J of Day 6 received the most votes. Yay! Alright, so actually it was, it was pretty not that even. So we got three votes for Kim Jinu of Winner and then seven votes for Jay. So for Jay, we had uh, Tony of Italy. Be a Besma Smile, Besma Smile of Tunisia, Unita of Indonesia, Zana of Malaysia, Anya of the Czech Republic, Chungta of Korea, and Samantha of Australia. Some of the stuff they said was, um, oops, actually no, this, uh, Tony voted for Chinu. My bad. So actually it's six to four, which is still sort of a blowout. So we got Besma, Besma Smile of Tunisia saying, Jay, it would be so hilarious to see... Though I might lose my sense of hearing with all this screaming, but it'll be worth it. By the way, Bungie is the first of my bucket list. Oh, yo, you should totally do it. Totally recommend it. Unita saying, Jay of Day 6, I always wanted to try bungee jumping, so let's just shout our lungs out together. Zana Malaysia saying, first of all, I'd never go bungee jumping. But if I had to choose, I'd choose Jay. He'd scream, but I trust him. Jinu once said he can't do bungee jumping, so I might end up doing it alone. Ooh, a little shade, a little, a little, a little extra information. For Anya, she said, Jay, definitely the swaggy chicken little, because he would scream more than I would, and I wouldn't be the weird screaming one, quote-unquote. Or we could scream in harmony. Chungta of Korea saying, Jay of Day 6, and Samantha saying, I wouldn't go at all for bungee jumping, but if I did, I'd go Jay, because I'd be screaming with him. So a lot of people saying they'd want to scream together. And then for people who voted for Kim Jinu of Winner, we got Darcyana of the USA, Siska of Indonesia, Kimmy of the USA, and Tony of Italy. Reasons. Let's see. Darcyan saying, I choose Kim Jinu because I need calm because I know I'll be scared. Siska saying, uh, bungee jumping is scary. Agree with you, skydiving's cool. I'll vote for Kim Jinu because you said he's calm and I'd better do it with him. I think Jay would be screaming and I'll get in shock with his screams. Siska also says, hello, Makoto and friends. They, they gave a little embarrassed wave. It's very cute. Kimmy of the USA said, if I were to bungee jump, I'd have to go with someone with a calming personality, so Chinu. And Tony said, I'd go with Chinu because I feel like I'll feel more calm with him than Jay. Good reason, and guys, personally, I'd vote for Jay just because I know Jay, and I think it would be really funny to be like, all right, dude, let's go bungee jumping. And then he goes out there, and he's just like, Aah! and it's more fun to go with someone who has a good reaction. Yo, I, I tell you that nine times out of ten, if you're going to go and do something exciting with someone, it's much better to do it someone with someone who has a good reaction than someone who's just gonna like be calm the entire time. Oh, that's just my. Guys, are you ready? This is today's second choice. The next choice was sent to us from Leah of the USA. Hello, Benji. If you have a million dollars, what will you do? A, buy an expensive house car and things you wanted to buy, or B, save money so that you can use it for the rest of your life. So once again, that's if you have a million dollars, what are you going to do? A, buy an expensive house or car and things you want, or B, save money so you can use it for the rest of your life. And we'll put it in terms of you can only do one or the other. So not like, oh, I'm going to save $500,000 and then spend $500,000 because there, there's no middle ground. And this is your choice, A or B. So it's all or nothing. 
Once again, if you have a million dollars, are you going to A, spend it on stuff, or B, save it so you can use it for the rest of your life? But I'm going to put an extra stipulation. If you save it, that means you can't use it for, we'll say, like 30 years or something. Because... It's, it doesn't make sense to save it and then a year later spend it. So it's saving for like 30 years and then spending it much later or spending it now over, you know, a period of like a year or two. So go ahead and select one and tell us the reason why on our music access send message or Adirang radio app via the comment function. So this brings the question, what do I want to buy these days? Um, you know, I've always been into clothes. Um, I've always been into a lot of accessories. Uh, I used to actually want to get... Oh, we can't say brands. Um, I just want to... With a dabble ranch. I already got something good. That song. The song title. Um, I used to want to get one of those. That was like one of my uh, life goals, I guess. But then I realized that it's just a watch. And so it's great to have. It's great, you know. It's a, it's a timeless timepiece. Yeah, see what I did there? That was pretty, pretty classy. It's very punny. But... Uh, all in all, you know, at my age, it's better to have something that fits with me that I can use in my current situation that'll last me a long time and that is more helpful to my future than to just have, you know, a really nice fancy watch is my personal opinion. Now, would I say no to a, uh, a watch like that? No. I'd be like, yeah, let's get it. Let's party. I roll it, roll it, roll it with a devil wrench. I already got some designer to hold on my pants. Uh, that's a good song. We should play that on the radio. I don't think we can, though, because they say a lot of bad words. But anyways, yeah, so that food is also something. I think for me, though, yo, honestly, for me, so I don't really want a car in Korea because it's hard to drive around. And of course, you know, our manager drives us to our schedule. And otherwise, I can just ride the subway or whatever. Uh, expensive house, meh. I would need to find a place where I have a job that helps support me during me living in this house. So house, meh. So I would say more of along of like nice restaurants, you know, nice food, you know, being able to enjoy with my friends, my members, um, and maybe like a nice place, like a nice studio. I might invest in a nice studio. That's right. A nice place to just like can blast it all day and all night and like no one really cares. Something like that, maybe. Yeah, while you are going to do that, guys, if you end up picking choice A or choice B, let me know why you're choosing it. Again, that is very important to our choice A or choice B. What are you going to spend it on or why are you going to save it? We're going to listen to a track before I get back to the results for our second situation. We're going to listen to Naked Eye by Luscious Jackson. We just heard the track Naked Eye by Luscious Jackson. And it's time to find out for today's second choice, or rather the winner for today's second choice. So remember, our second situation is if you have $1 million, what are you going to do? Going to A, buy an expensive house, car, things you want to get, or B, save money so that you can use it for the rest of your life. So now I gotta let y'all know which one received the most votes on the second choice PD Nim drum roll, please! If you have one million dollars, what will you do? Today it was a tie! Yeah! I kind of expect. So we actually had uh, four votes for A, four votes for B, and then Makoto of Japan wrote in, Benji Egeta Churkeo, you're gonna give it all to me. And you can't give it to me, that wasn't one of the choices. Tatsurako, talagimida, ne, that's fail. It's okay. We have a couple more situations coming up. We have actually one more, so uh, if you wanna vote for that, please do that. Uh, so let's get into our reasoning. We got 4 4. 4, we'll go to A first. Unita of Indonesia saying definitely A then. I can sell what I bought before to get the money back anyway. Sometimes even get more money from it because house prices keep rising, right? Ha ha ha. That is indeed very true. That is true. You could spend on it and have an investment, you know, invest in some stocks or something. That could be a good choice. Tony of Italy saying, for me, I'll buy a house or something that can be an investment that I use for a long time. So, okay, guys, so it looks like you're thinking about investing in the long haul, which is still very good because you're still spending money. But again, these kind of investments take, you know, 10, 20 years. Just be aware of that. 
Siska of Indonesia saying, "If I had a million dollars, of course, ha 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 ha, I'll use it to travel somewhere. I'm not really into shopping anyway, so I won't buy a thing. But I love food. Yes. So okay, I'll pick A. Use it to buy something I want." And I'll use the money to book a trip. Yeah, with a million dollars though, like you could stay at a fancy, fancy like penthouse of a hotel for like a long time. So uh, good luck with those travels. A million dollar trip. Yo, think about what would go into a million dollar trip. That's just like, that's just crazy money that's going in there, yo. Like we're talking like if you don't. Like even first class tickets, you're gonna have so much money left over. So we'll we'll say multiple trips. Zana of Malaysia saying choice A. Of course, I'd spend it. Just what happened to my paycheck every month? The money comes in and comes out that instant. Ha 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 ha. Real talk, real world coming up. So uh, yeah, good luck with that. And of course, spending it. That was for choice. Four people voting for A. For choice B. Saving money so you use it for the rest of your life. Darcy out of the USA saying I pick it because I want to save money so I can be set for life. P.S. For the recipe, it mentions an egg. This is used as an egg wash to brush over the cookies before you slice them. Oh, cool! So remember that egg wash is for brushing over the cookies before you slice it. Besma Smile of Tunisia saying, "Save the money. However, I won't save it in the form of cash. I'll buy gold actually and save that. Cash value might fall, but gold will either stay the same or have higher value. So if you want to be technical with it, that would be called an investment." Yo, that's pretty smart, yo. Buying gold, although technically that would fall into choice A because you're spending money. But yo, that's actually pretty smart. I did not think about that. Stephen or Stephen of Vietnam saying, save it and put it under, put it <laughs> under my wife and my daughter's name, just in case if something happens to me. Ha ha. Here's a question for your question. What if I already have a few mil? Smiley face. Love your show. Thank you so much, Stefan. Thank you so much. New listener, new messages. If you already have a few million dollars, dude, it's easy. Give it to me, bro. I'm the best investor in the business. I'll take a million, few million dollars. I'll turn it into a few hundred thousand, bro. Just like that. Okay. In all seriousness, no. If you already have a few million, I mean, yo, take your family out for like vacations and stuff, man. I feel like. You know, if you have the money and the financial stability to really like, you know, go on extravagant vacations or you know, do that young enough age where they they haven't experienced everything and they're not living apart, I'd say you know, go to countries you haven't been on the opposite side of the world. You know, give them a ch chance to experience different cultures. Because for me, it really helped um, me grow as a person. I feel. Samantha of Australia saying, save it. I'm a saver, so I'd put the money in a bank account that would make more money so I can retire early. All right, so we got a tie. So let's see if we can a little bit more of a win or loser situation for today's third choice. When you choose your dating partner, people consider how well you can talk to your partner. Then the question is, which partner is more attractive to you if two are under the same conditions in terms of, you know, same height, financial ability, similar appearance, character, is blah, 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 blah. Choice A, someone who is talkative, or choice B, someone who is not talkative. Once again, the situation is, if you have a partner, uh, of these two, which is more attractive to you under the same conditions for these partners? Someone who is talkative, that's A or B, someone who is not talkative. Go ahead and pick one and let us know why on our Music Access Send message and Adilong Radio app comment. Uh, so the question in the script is, do you get along better with a woman who is talkative or not? But I feel like that's going to influence y'all decisions. So I'll just put it this way. When it comes to picking a partner, it's not just about that. It's who matches well with me. And that goes for conversation, just for like chilling with them. So as you consider these options, as I play the next track, see if you can select one. Remember, someone who's talkative A or someone who is not talkative B for the choices. We're gonna check out a track, West Coast Baby, Do for Love by Tupac. Woo! Yo, love that track, West Coast. Shout out to Tupac. That was our track, Do for Love by Tupac. All right, and of course, it's time to reveal which choice got more votes for this situation, which partner's more attractive to you if these partners are the same physically. Someone who's talkative, that's choice A, or someone who's not talkative, choice B. So I got to tell you which one received the most votes on the third choice. Pete, name, drum roll, please. Boy, boy. 
Alright, so, which partner's more attractive to you? Someone who's talkative or not talkative? Today, A, someone who's talkative received the most votes. Alright guys, so we had, up until the moment I said that, we had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 votes for A and 1 vote for B. So I'm going to go through these pretty quick. For our B, we had Darcy Ann saying, I picked choice B because I don't mind people who are not so talkative. It would help if this person had dark hair and dark eyes too. So Harry Potter. For choice A, we had Anya of the Czech Republic, Kimmy of the USA, uh, Besma Smile of Tunisia, Tony of Italy, Siska of Indonesia, Samantha of Australia, and Yunita of Indonesia. To kind of uh, say what these are, uh, people like people who talk. Someone who has a conversation... Uh, someone once someone said, I don't want to date a live statue, lol. And also someone mentioned, it'll be great if a guy tried to start a conversation. And, uh, yeah. So more or less, people like having conversations with their partner. I do agree with that. Shout out to everyone who voted. And of course, guys, this was Wednesday's Corner, your choice A or B. Of course, your choice A or B is nothing without y'all, because we need your votes and messages, so please look forward to Wednesday's Corner next week and every week, and participate. And let us know your concerns. If you can't decide between A or B, send a message on your Music Access on our Music Access homepage under the title of A or B, and me and the MA fan will help you decide. Alright, so we're going to listen to a song before we get to the answer for our MA Fun Fun Quiz from the first hour, a track I love, Solita, by Pretty Much featuring Rich the Kid. We just heard Solita by Pretty Much, featuring Rich the Kid. It's time to reveal the answer for MA Fun Fun Quiz from the first hour. The answer is... Onyu. Shiny's Onyu will release his first solo album at 6 p.m. Korean time today. That's in about 2 hours, 15 minutes. I'll make sure to check it out. We had a lot of listeners sending the answers today. Congrats to Unita of Indonesia, Darcy Ann of the USA, Tony of Italy, Samantha of Australia, Chungte of Korea, and Kimmy of the USA. Thanks for taking part in MA Fun Fun Quiz, everyone. And remember, we have an MA Fun Fun Quiz tomorrow as well, so don't forget to participate. We're going to check out two tracks. Sassy of the USA wants to hear Fake Love by BTS, and Ryoko of Japan requested Senche Sentimental by Winner. And it's just about time to wrap up our show. Our last song for today is I Wanna Break Free by Queen. And to all my lovely MA fam, as always, as always, have a lovely day.